Bienvenidos al Medical Spanish Podcast. Soy la doctora Molly Martin. Through this podcast, we provide interactive audio lessons for learning practical Spanish for healthcare and elsewhere. The level of this lesson is advanced beginner, and timestamps are provided in your show notes. The lessons offered at docmolly.com are solely for learning Spanish. They are not intended to teach medicine or provide medical advice. Hola a todos. Today, I have another lesson from the Review of Systems module in our History and Exam course. I am updating all these lessons with the help of Luis Almeida de Venezuela. If you'd like to sign up for our course covering a complete history and exam in Spanish, there's a link in your show notes. I hope you find these lessons helpful. In this lesson, we will learn symptoms that affect the ears, nose, throat, and cardiorespiratory system. In the member lesson, we'll practice using these symptoms and questions during a review of systems. ¿Listos? Empecemos. Síntomas Watery eyes. Los ojos llorosos. Ringing in the ears. El zumbido en los oídos. O. El tintineo en los oídos. So when referring to the sensory apparatus of the ear, we say oído. When referring to the outer part of the ear or the oracle, we say oreja. El zumbido en los oídos. El tintineo en los oídos. Plugged ear. El oído tapado. Toothache. El dolor de muelas. Now, muelas specifically refers to the molars, but it is very common to simply say dolor de muelas to refer to a toothache. However, you could also use dientes and say el dolor de dientes. Bleeding gums. Las encías sangrantes. Mouth sores. Las llagas en la boca. Dry mouth. La boca seca. Congestion. La congestión. Congested or stuffy nose. La nariz congestionada. O la nariz tapada. O la nariz constipada. So cuidado con constipado. It means congestionado, not constipated. La nariz constipada. Runny nose. Mucha secreción nasal. And you may hear patients refer to a runny nose as mocos. Nosebleed. El sangrado por la nariz. You could also use the preposition de here. El sangrado de la nariz. Another way to say nosebleed is la hemorragia nasal. 
sore throat. El dolor de garganta. Scratchy or itchy throat. La picazón en la garganta. O la comezón en la garganta. Change in voice. El cambio en la voz. Hoarseness. La ronquera. Snoring. Los ronquidos. Cough. La tos. Cough with phlegm or productive cough. La tos con flemas. Lots of phlegm. Mucha flema. Blood in the phlegm. La sangre en las flemas. Cold, as in upper respiratory infection. El catarro. O el resfriado. Flu or bad cold. La gripe. O la gripa. So when you hear someone say, tengo gripe o tengo gripa, they're just saying they have a bad cold, and they're usually not referring specifically to la influenza. Chest pain. El dolor de pecho. O el dolor en el pecho. Often people with angina will deny having chest pain. Instead, they'll describe a discomfort or pressure in the chest. Chest discomfort. Las molestias en el pecho. Chest pressure. La presión en el pecho. Rapid heartbeat. Los latidos rápidos del corazón. Irregular heartbeat. Los latidos irregulares del corazón. Palpitations. Las palpitaciones. Difficulty breathing or shortness of breath. La dificultad para respirar. O la falta de aire. Wheezing. La sibilancia. Not all patients will know the word sibilancia, so you could also use another word for wheezing, which also means whistle. El silbido. Y eso es todo por hoy. 
If you would like to hear the full lesson where we practice using these symptoms in questions during a review of systems, you can become a premium subscriber either through Apple Podcasts or through DocMolly.com. And the second half of this lesson will show up in your podcast feed tomorrow. So now you have two options to support this project and get member benefits. When you subscribe through Apple Podcasts, our most recent member audio lessons are delivered directly through the Medical Spanish podcast feed in Apple Podcasts. When you sign up through DocMolly.com, you get access to all our lessons and courses, as well as our premium podcast feeds. This includes full lesson notes with downloadable PDFs and quizzes. And at the bottom of each lesson, you can ask questions and I'll respond within 24 hours. Y ya está. Gracias por escuchar y que tengas una bonita semana. This is a production of DocMolly.com, where we learn practical Spanish for healthcare and elsewhere.